Hi, and welcome to our Data Science for Ecologists in R series. In the last video, we have learned what tidy data is and why we should use tidy data when it comes to data analysis with R. And today we're going to look at how to prepare your data before importing it into R. And you may remember the principles of tidy data from the last video. Each variable must have its own column. Each observation must have its own row. Each value must have its own cell and each observational unit forms a table. And these principles are of course important when preparing your data before the import into R. And today we will have a look at the most common mistakes when it comes to data preparation when entering the raw data, for example, into Excel before importing it into R. So the first thing you want to avoid is having gaps in your data sheet. Try not to have a table with different blocks of data, as you can see here. This may look nice at first sight, but will make it really hard to work with your data in R. What you want is to have one continuous table, as you can see here on the right. Another common mistake is having multiple variables in one column. So here in the demographics column, there is a mix of sex and age, but for tidy data, you want to have one separate column for all of your variables, as you can see here on the right. Another very common and one of the most important mistakes to avoid is having variables as column headers. Here, for example, measurements on different days are stored in the header. Instead, you want to have the variable, in this case the day, as a column, as you can see here. You always want to make sure that each variable is stored in a column. This will make it much easier to analyze and visualize your data when using R. Further, you want to have all of your observations in one table and avoid having the same observational unit in different tables. Often, when using Excel for data entering, data on the same observational unit are stored in different sheets. Especially when it comes to time series data, data of different years are often stored in separate sheets. But if you want to compare data of, for example, different years, you want to have them in the same table with an additional column that indicates the year, as you can see here again on the right. In addition to these structural issues, there are other things that will make your life harder than it needs to be. So try to avoid the following. Avoid blank spaces in column names. So use dots or underscores if you want to use separators. Avoid special characters as additions, as for example, adding question marks to numbers. If you do that, R won't be able to interpret a number as a number anymore. And indicate missing values with NA. And last but not least, Check for spelling mistakes and inconsistency throughout your datasheet. So to summarize, avoid gaps in your datasheet. Have only one variable per column. Have your variables as columns and not in your column headers. And have one table with all of your data of one observational unit. And of course, check for spelling mistakes and inconsistencies. Of course, there are other things to keep in mind when preparing your data, but these are some of the most common mistakes and most important things when it comes to data preparation. 